Good afternoon folks, it's Les from Orchid Species. First thing I'm doing today is I'm going to remind you that you should spray your hands with isopropyl alcohol as well as the work surfaces, utensils and any equipment that's inside your sterile area. As you can see I'm wearing some surgical gloves. Uh, I'm also wearing some arm covers because I've got quite airy arms and I'm spraying those with isopropyl alcohol for the rest of the video I'll just say IPA to keep it simple everything inside this area is sterile we have today's equipment we have a small pair of delicate tipped tweezers for removing dead bits of leaves and we've also got a larger longer but equally thin pair of tweezers for transplanting the actual plants we've got some kitchen roll which has been soaked in IPA to sterilize it and also a small sheet of glass which again has been wiped with IPA but I'll do it again in a sec just to show you you could if you don't want to use a piece of glass you could use a petri dish or some people say a petri dish depends how you want to say it so let's spray it all over with IPA and wipe it right down this includes the edges uh, all the way around you don't want no bacteria in this environment whatsoever so place that down on the sterile surface again and today what we're going to be using we're going to be deflasking and, and replating some Cattleya genmanii which is a lovely five inch flowered plant from Guyana and Venezuela as you can see these are lovely healthy seedlings they're around about an inch, inch and a half tall uh, and this is what we call a mother flask and in this flask will be probably something like a hundred plants something like that now although I've already sterilized these tubs uh, I'm gonna do it again just to remind you and I've sprayed it all over with IPA and I'm wiping it down including the base underneath don't forget that and you're gonna be removing the lid and placing it inside facing upwards so not on the surface in the sterile area away from where you're working now using the long tweezers or forceps I'm going to remove some clumps of plants I'll try and get individuals if I can but usually when they're this crowded in the pot uh, they tend to be tangled so you might end up getting a few clumps out at a time put the tweezers back down on the sterile surface and replace the lid it's most important we can come back to those later and do some more so depending on how dexterous you are you can either use two sets of tweezers to prise the plants apart or you can use your fingers and one, one set of tweezers uh, you'll find that you tend to be a little bit more accurate when you do use tweezers simply because it slows you down stops you from pulling or it does me anyway so I'm separating these clumps out into individual plants being careful not to destroy the stems and not to apply too much pressure as to bruise the plants and as you can see from that small clump there's quite a few plants so I would think in the in the main mother flask there, there may be as many as 150 plants so let's prise some of these apart as I said this is Cattleya genmanii which uh, has a huge five inch flower lovely fragrant flower uh, and the colour of it is sort of uh, a cerisi pink usually with a large trumpet shaped lip with the yellow, th the yellow throat to it lovely fragrance too these seedlings I would think would take probably something approaching five years before they actually become a flowering sized plant so you need to be quite patient any old media that sticks to your utensils just wipe it on your sterilized tissue paper now what I'm going to be doing now is I'm using the fine tweezers to remove any dead bits so you, you occasionally get little dead roots or dead bits of leaves uh, really what I'm doing is I'm trying to remove anything that may become contaminated or cause, cause a problem when we reflask it 
there's no point starting off from a bad point so uh, the more you can tidy these little plants up the better and don't forget I'm putting these down but it's all been sterilized as I keep saying sterilize 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 now I've done a, a similar video to this previously so I think this is probably the last one of these I'm going to be doing because effectively the process is the same regardless of what the species or variety of plant is it's just the same process it could be a phalaenopsis could be a cattleya could be a selogeny could be anything really it's the same process and it's the same principle so here we go you see as I'm removing perhaps little dead seedlings from the base dead bits of leaf take as much time as you need because you don't want to be rushing this and because you don't want to apply too much pressure to the plant so as to damage the existing roots the good roots that one's a little bit too small um, it's actually several tiny little plants all clumped together so I'm not going to bother with that I'm just going to use the nice biggish ones now I'm going to wipe some more IPA over my hands again just to re-sterilize and I'm also going to sterilize the tweezers um, and the forceps put them back down onto your tissue paper now what we're using today are the flasklets from orchidspecies.co.uk these ones are black at the bottom as you can see and that's because they've got charcoal uh, they're available to purchase on the links that you can see at the bottom of the page and at the bottom of the screen now available in replate which is these seeds for planting your own orchid seeds and for stem propagations now I'm wiping these packets down bear in mind I've already done this once but I need to remind you how important it is so I'm showing it again I've sprayed the entire packet down front and back with IPA uh, and I've rubbed it into all the creases and cracks and whatnot. inside the packets and the, and the actual tubes themselves are already sterile as is the atmosphere with inside the packet so there's no need to spray them but again spraying it with IPA IPA by the way is only pretty cheap material it's about £15 for I think you get a gallon so it's so it's not an expensive uh, material and it's not the kind of alcohol that you drink either so don't be thinking I'll have it with a bit of coke because that'll not do you any good at all and you can't use vodka well yeah, I suppose you could but the temptation would be to lick the bottle so <laughs> we'll just use IPA All of the flasklets that we offer come in packs of three and they're all fitted with uh, a 0.2 of a micron filter on the top. So remove the lid and hold it as shown and you'll notice we're now using the long tweezers so that we can position the plants at the bottom of the flask without a risk of dropping the tweezers in the, in the bottle, in the, in the uh, tube. So grasp your plant by the base, position it and gently push the roots into the medium and replace the cap as quickly as possible. And there you are, that's what you're after. Now these will grow away, uh, you want to, temperature wise you want to keep these around about 16 to 18 degrees 
uh, in reasonable light but not direct sunlight uh, you don't want to cook them uh, and they will probably grow like that for perhaps six months or so uh, by which time they should be large enough to remove from the flask or flasklet and pot up into regular compost or bark you could actually convert the flask flasklet into a non-sterile one uh, by removing the jelly washing it all out uh, and, and filling it with fine grade really fine grade orchid bark um, and then planting the plant in the bark inside the tube uh, now that's a way of doing it if you get some contamination in the flasklet and you don't want to waste the plant simply convert it uh, it only takes a few drops of water to moisten the compost and what you'll find is because the lid uh, stops most of the evaporation you, you'll only need to water the plants perhaps once every month with a few drops of water but it's an emergency situation is that um, so you shouldn't have a problem you can also buy the plants from us already inside these flasklets um, so we have a lot of different species available where I've done these for you as you can see I'm doing now uh, and they're available from orchidspecies.co.uk or by clicking the link that you can see at the bottom of the screen right now that will take you to the website and that's me more or less finished I will finish the rest of these later put them in the bottles hope you enjoyed the video check out the others bye for now